some claim that the Arizona law will bring about racial discrimination profiling. Well, first, let me say, Mr. Speaker, that profiling has always been an important component of legitimate law enforcement. If you can't profile someone, you can't use those common sense indicators that are before your very eyes. Now, I think it's wrong to use racial profiling for the reasons of discriminating against people. But it's not wrong to use race or other indicators for the sake of identifying people that are violating the law. Now, we all get profiled, Mr. Speaker. I had a, just a moment of irony this morning when I, I stepped out of the, uh, the USDA building down here uh, several blocks uh, west of the Capitol, wearing a suit. And I had just stepped out to the sidewalk. I hadn't even looked for a cab. I started to walk down the street thinking I would go to the corner. There was a cab going the other direction on the opposite side of the street, tapped his horn. I looked up and he swung around the street and picked me up. And I said, how did you identify me as someone who needed a cab ride? I hadn't indicated I wanted one. I was walking down the street. And he said, well, you were wearing a suit and you stepped out of the USDA office. There wasn't a car there to pick you up. I knew you needed a cab. He'd profile me. He said, I don't stop for people like that that are wearing shorts and sneakers because they're not looking for a ride. People in suits coming out of this building are. There I was, profiled because I'm a guy in a suit in a time of the day when it'd be logical that I'd be looking for a ride somewhere. It's just a common sense thing. Law enforcement needs to use common sense indicators. Those common sense indicators are all kinds of things, from what kind of clothes people wear, my suit in my case, what kind of shoes people wear, what kind of accident they have, um, the, the type of grooming that they might have. The, there, are, there are all kinds of indicators there, and sometimes it's just a sixth sense and they can't put their finger on it. But these law enforcement officers, if they were going to be discriminating against people on the sole basis of race, singling people out, they'd be going on already.